Hi, it's Bob Haas here with Haas Golf 180. I want to show you a quick, easy way to improve your golf swing. First off, make sure you hit my website. It's called HaasGolf180.com. www.HaasGolf180.com. This just says Haas 180 right here. This is your Haas 180. We're going to be using this in conjunction with the tension tubes in just a second. Now, find an easy thing to connect your Haas 180 to. We're going to be using a doorway in today's demonstration but you can use the strap that's included in your kit attach that to any stable object i really uh, like using these on golf cart roofs work really well there shoulder to head height your anchor point if you need to buy one of these at the hardware store screw it in the wall someplace basement we're in a basement right now you can go to a garage screw it in the garage wherever you want to shoulder to head height your anchor point today we're going to be using the door anchor really easy to use the door anchor right here all we're going to do with this is Open the door and close the door on your door anchor. We're going about head height here today, maybe uh, clearly above the shoulder, not quite all the way to the top of the head, but you can kind of take your choice on that, anywhere from shoulder to head height. Uh, take the cramp on on your uh, tension tube, attach it through the loop attachment, and then go ahead and uh, take the uh, attachment and loop it to your uh, grip attachment. Very easy there. And now you're ready to go ahead and get uh, started. What you're going to do is you're going to be standing maybe about three yards away from the wall or your anchor point. So there's some slack in the tension tube there. Just take the slack out of the tension tube, grip onto your grip attachment with the drill hole straight up and down, and you're going to do it about face away from the wall. So if you notice the uh, anchor point's directly behind my head right here. And we're not overstretching the uh, tension tube. Make sure you're uh, your uh, tension tubes are locked in there in place. So drill number one is going to begin right here. The hands are going to just be just below the right shoulder. Point your Haas 180 right down the tension tube. Drill number one is going to come right back down below the belt then. You can repeat that as often as you'd like to. These are not full swings, only partial swings. Drill number two, we simply just bring the tension tube to the other side of our head. So now you can see the tension tubes on the left side of my body. Now bear in mind you've got two sides of your head. Sometimes we get confused with what side we're doing. Drill number two is going to be on the left side nonetheless. And you're going to turn through, point the grip attachment right down the tension tube. Bring that back down below the belt. Point down the tension tube. Again, this is a partial follow through back down below the belt. Now let's get to the full swing drills. Drill number three, bring the tension tube to the right side of your body. We're going to turn to the left uh, 90 degrees, a quarter of a turn. We're going to take one, two steps forwards. And now we can begin drill number three. This is a great way to get the club set properly. I've never found a better way to get the club set properly than that right there. A lot of amateur golfers have a tendency to have the club over here. Wherever you go with this, this will automatically pull you exactly where you need to go. You don't have to think about it. Just let the tube do its job. Now, make sure the tension tube hits you below the belt. Anything going above the belt line is over the top. Make sure the tube hits you below the belt. Once you learn to get the, or the, the tension tube hits you below the belt, then you can start going below the tubing on the follow through. Not above it, below it. This will keep you on top of it a little bit more on the follow through. Now, for drill number four, you're going to come back to your beginning spot with the anchor point directly behind your head. Now we've got the tension tube on the left side of our body. We're going to turn to the right this time, 90 degrees, and you're going to take, or a quarter of a turn, you're going to take two steps forward. One, two right here. Now we can do the full follow through. The hands are directly in front of the head. Notice how the tension tube's on the, the left side of the body. Turn through. All you're doing is pointing down the tension tube right there, bring that back down below the belt turn through, let the hips turn through. Good way to get the hips moving. Two highs up here, two lows down here. That's what they call the high finish right here. Back down below the belt. And those are your four drills. Now I've had some comments out on the street. Of course I've been selling these things for a number of years now. And some of you under the impression that when the hands are going behind the body just below the right shoulder, you call that too flat. Now that looks flat at the moment only because I'm standing straight up and down. When you do these drills, you can just stand straight up and down when you do them. 
Uh, bear in mind when you get in your posture that's more up and down now and that's going to be a little bit more flatter right there. All this is the same swing. All I'm doing is changing my posture right here that's more height, that's more width, and there's about a 15 to 20 degree difference between the driver and the wedge. But when you do these drills, don't worry about your posture. These are swing drills, not posture drills. Hope you enjoy your Mahas 180. Good luck with it.